We are at a very exciting time, I think, in the history of the science of autism. I have been in the field for many years, and when I started, uh, autism really was a black box. So over the last several years, we've learned a lot about many aspects of autism. We now know, for example, that many genes contribute to autism. Uh, at the other end, we know much more about behavior. Uh, we can actually detect autism now um, and early symptoms in a young baby. But how do we link what we're learning about the basic biology, uh, things like genetics, with behavior? And I think circuits is that um, link that we need in order to really translate what we're learning from genetics uh, which tells us a lot about perhaps the molecular basis of autism to behavior. We've been able to show that in humans that autism does involve disruptions in neurocircuitry that we can measure with electrophysiology. So now we have the potential to maybe even make a link between you know, much more detailed and elegant um, studies of neurocircuitry in the animal and then translating them to the human and, um, and most importantly, being able to test whether a therapy could restore the functioning of that neurocircuit. If you look back, for example, in the field of autism, and how science is developed. Parents played a key role in two ways. One is that they were the advocates who got the government, you know, NIH, uh, to be uh, funding uh, autism research. So there, are, uh, in autism, there have been a number of bills that have been passed over decades, and these have always uh, been passed because parents have really insisted that that funding take place. So they have a very important voice in providing funding for research, and without that funding, you know, it just cannot happen. A second very important um, role is telling us what matters to them. So again, if you look back at the history of autism and what we've learned um, about the symptoms uh, that, that people with autism experience or, you know, a parent would report about their child, um, they have taught us a lot. Um, so just one example, uh, autism is involved not only with um, problems in information processing, but it affects the whole body. And it was parents who really told us that we also needed to pay attention to things like GI problems or sleep and so they're all, always directing us to the things that are really important. And when we think about developing treatments, you know, we want to develop those things that the people who are struggling with these uh, disorders that are important to them. I have never been more excited about um, the science of autism and our hope for the future. I do think we are on a cusp uh, or a revolution in terms of our understanding of the brain. And I think that understanding of the brain, which involves our understanding of neurocircuits, is going to lead to major breakthroughs. Um, it, it takes uh, information and expertise from many disciplines, uh, genetics, neuroscience, clinical science, engineering, um, but we have all of those fields combined with amazing breakthroughs in technology. And those are coming together right now, I think, for the first time in history in a way that will lead to real breakthroughs. So I'm extremely hopeful. Mm -hmm.